You must have boarded trains many times, whether for a long journey or short commute, but do you know what is a train and what are the types of trains? What is train? A train consists of one or more railway car units that are moved together along a fixed railway line. The train can be moved with its own power unit or external power unit. Trains are broadly known to carry passenger or freight traffic but sometimes it carries both in separate car unit. Trains are further categorized into various groups based on their use, track design, power system, etc. Types of trains based on their source of power. Electric locomotive trains. Electric locomotive trains are one of the advanced type trains of modern time. Almost all over the world, electric trains are widely used almost all over the world for long-haul passenger trains, freight transit, or short commutes via mass transit systems or light transit systems or high-speed trains like bullet trains. Diesel locomotive trains. Diesel locomotive trains are primarily driven by diesel engines. They are mainly used as freight trains to transit coal and goods car units. In recent times diesel locomotives are used in a combination with electric engines. Types of trains based on their usage. Freight trains. Freight trains carry goods of all types from all nodal centers and ports, dry port and or wet port, to various parts of the country. The goods that are carried through with these freight trains varies from solid goods to perishable goods to liquids to gases. Freight movement is more important from the commercial and economic point of view for any country. That's why in many countries freight train corridors are constructed separately from passenger train corridors to minimize the interface and disruption of one system to the other. Passenger intercity trains. Passenger intercity trains transit to long distances and connect city to city. In European countries, these inert city trains travel from country to country. Commuter trains. Commuter trains primarily serves the major district centers and connects them to major residential settlements or satellite towns. Working professionals of service sector units and or industrial units generally commute via commuter trains to move in and out of the district centers. These trains are further split into light rail transit train system and mass transit systems. Mine trains. Mine trains are used to carry natural minerals from mines to various production plants. The minerals such as coal, iron ore, etc. transported to various parts of the country and sometimes exported to foreign countries, therefore transported to dry and wet ports too. Types of trains based on their track design. High-speed trains. High-speed trains runs way faster than normal trains. Their rolling stocks and tracks are designed with much more precision for design speed, safety, etc. The track design of high-speed trains is directly related to the turning radii, that's why high-speed tracks are designed with larger radii to minimize the cant super-elevation. High-speed trains generally run above 250 km per hour speed. Japanese high-speed trains are also known as bullet trains have the potential to run above 300 km per hour speed. Recently the UK government has started building their high-speed train network connecting London to Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, etc. Mass Rapid Transit System MRTS, slash Metro. Mass Rapid Transit System is also known as Metrorail Network is constructed to carry a higher volume of commuter traffic to connect satellite towns to the central business districts. In big metropolises, it is preferred to minimize car usage and as a result, government organizations built Mass Rapid Transit System to cater to a large amount of passenger traffic at a faster pace. Mass rapid trains provide several train stops at frequent intervals along their tracks and trains run at a faster pace and halt to all those stops to cater to commuter traffic. Light Rail Transit System LRT, slash tram. Light Rail Transit System is also known as Light Rail or Tram System. LRT generally runs with relatively slow speed within the central business district and nearby areas. It connects major nodal business parks and major residential developments around a town center. Similar to MRTS, LRT also provides several train stops along its corridor and cater to commuter traffic through those stops. LRT generally runs parallel to urban streets and sometimes crosses the road junction at grade level. That's why the design of LRT along with urban streets is a very complex task. Skybus System Skybus system is a unique type of urban transit system where the train system runs along the elevated corridor through suspended passenger coaches. Skybus are lightweight coaches and they run in fixed elevated corridors in a suspended position. 
It comes with numerous advantages such as low construction cost, low operation and maintenance cost, being environmentally friendly, etc. Just like LRT, Skybus also runs at a slow pace within the central business area and connect nodal business parks. Hyperloop's Innovation Stage Hyperloop train system is a new innovative concept and is still at the trial stage. Hyperloop is a tube-based system where passenger coaches, also known as pods, run within the tube under low air pressure. Hyperloops are tested for a very high speed, 1,200 km per hour, in San Francisco, USA. The Hyperloop system is considered as a game-changer in terms of reducing passenger commuting time and covering huge catchment areas, but it is still under testing mode because various design and safety parameters need to suffice before considering it as the safe mode of the transportation system. I hope this video enlightens you with various types of train systems. Please feel free to share your views with us.